as promised this with my Canon UC900 handheld video recorder which has been in our family since about 1997 so it's quite apt I'm actually filming it with this because this stereo which is my latest pickup was in our house at the same time and I owned this model of stereo the Panasonic RX CT810 between 94 and 99 so these two these two items would have been in our house at the same time so I'll show you what I got I apologise if, uh, if the quality is a bit bad on this but I think it'll be worth it just for sort of retro charm so you got the power lead there came with the operating instructions and the original box and it's got a couple of polys in the bottom as well so yeah apologies for the focus on this it's a bit it's slower than the modern stuff so there's the beast so it's uh, got twin tape decks got graphic equaliser see there, 5 band graphic equaliser, it's got a radio it's got FM long wave, medium wave, short wave removable side speakers I mean pretty simple stuff, it does give out a nice sound both tape decks work which is good because that's the reason I got rid of mine back in 99 it broke both tape decks, I was a bit rough with them and both broke. So this is in really nice condition. When I got it, it was covered in stickers, but I've uh, got a bit of white spirit on them, removed more. They're all sort of plastered here on the speakers. No, but it's in really nice condition. You've got a spot there for a microphone that's blanked off. You've got a headphone socket there. Recording in deck one there on the left. Deck 2 is for playback. So I've just got the speaker slotted on the sides at the moment. They, they can be removed. Got the aerial on the back there. Got the audio uh, in there for CD. Used to have a Philips CD player connected to this. Because it has no button CD player. You've got uh, holes there for wall mounting the speakers. Battery compartment there. It will run off batteries. Got the aerials all connected there on the back. Model number there. Yes, it was in really nice condition. It uh, cost me about 20 quid. And it's really nice that it's come with its original box, which is something you don't really get to see these days. Not many people kept uh, boxes for stereos. So yeah, really really pleased to get this one with a manual as well for 20 quid so I'll be uh, keeping this in my little corner of my what is really my games room but sort of a uh, spare room at the moment so yeah I'll be connecting this up to uh, through a CD player and playing a bit of, bit of music for it get my old tapes out of the loft luckily I've still got my original tapes from the 1990s I used to play on this so, kind of really, really nostalgic time playing them back for the actual system. So I'm not sure how this would have worked, guys, through this old Canon camcorder recording onto a 8mm TDK tape. It might look awful. I mean, if there's a bit of crackling at the bottom of the screen, please don't ignore it. There's no no tracking on these things. Unless you are to start altering around with the tape guide heads and things, it's, it's not really going to improve, and that's not something I really want to do opening it up it'll probably end up killing it so yeah that's my Panasonic RX CT810 portable